Hey guys, Lego Rev here with our first Lego Star Wars 2012 Winter Line set review. We're going to open it up with the Elite Clone Trooper and Commander Jared Battle Pack. 98 pieces, one of the biggest amount of pieces in any battle pack. Also, set number 9488 and ages 6 to 12. On to the minifigs, Lego Rev. Okay, so we have our first minifigure which is the ARC Trooper. Finally, they finally made an ARC Trooper. Ever since season three, I've been asking for one of these. He has the like antenna thing. He has a phase one point. What's that, 1.5? It's basically a mix between phase two and phase one. It's because he's got the phase two like breathing things and then the phase one helmet. Anyway, he has a clone head, a regular clone head. Nothing really new. I'm glad that they kept it. He's got um, like these shoulder capes. They look really awesome. I don't know. Um, I kind of like the pauldrons. I really like the shoulder capes, but the waist cape. I like the plastic ones better because these don't really fit well. Yeah. As you can see, and they're they don't a little look bit, as nice. They're a little wonky. Honestly, like... Like, the cool thing about them is that he can sit down in chairs and stuff, but honestly, I'm probably just going to custom it into plastic. Anyway, he has a backpack. backpack. He's got double-sided printing. Yeah. A little bit of it's covered with the backpack, but... Very nice torso. Very torso, nice. Torso, this is probably the thing. The torso makes it perfect. The legs, printed legs, um, sadly single-sided. He's got two... Um, Blaster pistols? Yeah, two... Two long-range blaster pistols, which works nice. Um, yeah, so basically that's it. He's probably one of my favorite minifigures of this set. So on to the next the minifigure. Arc. I mean, Arf, Arf Trooper. Trooper. The Elite Arf Trooper. Yes, here he is. He's got a regular face, awesome brand new helping helmet, red red color, Elite. Regular clone head, as you can see right there, normal. This is a different helmet than the old one. It has markings and the visor is a bit bigger. Yeah, so if you want to compare here, just hold this for me, Lego Rev. I've got him right here somewhere in my pile of Lego. Oh, here he is. Here's the old helmet. Here's the new helmet. As you can see, yeah, you can see it right there. The visor is a bit bigger. A bit bigger. Uh, everything else seems to be the same. The side, There's some different designs on the side, and the the minifigures themselves are different as well. He's got just the brownish arms. Yeah, the, the, there's not much of a difference. Sadly, these don't come with printed legs, but obviously Lego outdid themselves on the Arc Trooper, so I'm but guessing I they would, bring it, it back. It would have been better to see because in the last battle pack there was an Arc Trooper. They made it on the lead Arc Trooper, but still, it'd be glad I'd be glad to see like a new kind of trooper, like a shock trooper. That would be again. awesome. Okay, on to the commando droids. Here they are. The, brown the commando droids are awesome. I love them. I love everything but their yeah, legs. The legs, the legs should have been regular, uh, just regular battle droid legs, because these are supposed to be the same height as them. They're a little smarter. Their They're helm, their head is a bit small. Honestly, it it doesn't really look that realistic. If they made it a tad bigger, that would have been great. Yeah, so there it is. A little it's bit got of a printing. regular blaster. Oh, by the way, the Arf Trooper has just a regular blaster. Yeah, we took that off because he's the one sitting on the cannon. Okay, on to the cannon. Yeah, it's just the second commander droid. It's the same thing. We just gave him the long range bla blaster. Because that's what it's supposed to do, and we're doing it by the rules. So, here we go. Here is the cannon. This is anticipated. Everybody wants this. It's a great deal. Pretty cool. There are a few things I would change about it, such as that little bottom part. Yeah, like this little bottom piece. I mean, it's cool. 
Yeah, it kind of holds it up, but, yeah, but I, I it, take it, it can off. stand on its own, by the way. The um, legs don't move very well. They move, like... Um, it has, it has two main features. Tilt? Yeah, it's got a tilt, and then it's got the flick fire missile. So you just push this thing, and it goes like... Wait. You can't really flick it. I mean, it's more like a pressing thing. Yeah, so if you want to have a little range test... I this mean, is about 30 centimeters away from the minifig, I'll put it. So this is 30 centimeters away from the minifigs. Oh, and I hit the minifig. So, I'm guessing it shoots around a meter, maximum. No, not a meter. Maybe 45 centimeters. Foot. I don't know how long a foot is, so. Anyways, so this, great. I love it. The little part right here where he sits could have been a little more detailed. Maybe put a control you just panel of some sort. Put right him there. in like this, and then yeah, it'd be cool if he had a control panel instead of like, like the big uh, separatist one, the big separatist you just cannon. Have him hold like that, and his mm. arms the wrong way. Honestly, one thing that really surprised me is that for the cannon itself, it uses car tire parts. Like these are most tire parts and like Technic it stuff. It kind of looks weird. Like honestly. Like, the cannon's a bit smaller than I expected, because compared to most battle packs. If you packs. compare it to a minifig, this cannon is supposed to be about two or three minifigs tall, and it's only like one and a half. So, compared to other battle packs, this is a great deal. So, what would you say this is, if this, like, out of ten, what would you say this is, like, out value? Out of ten, value, they, in Canada, they raise the price they, by one dollar, which is, it makes me quite mad, because the old battle packs were... Fourteen ninety nine, not not fourteen ninety nine. Now they're fifteen ninety nine. Honestly, I don't think the extra dollars worth it because, and I honestly would prefer instead of to have one battle pack with um two sides, I'd prefer to have two battle packs. With yeah, they could have made like a separatist thingy, like, a like some commando droids and like battle droids. That would be that would be a big hit if Lego made like a command like a squad of commando droids, so four commando droids or two commando droids, and maybe and like two battle droids, and maybe like uh yeah, if they did that, that'd leader. be awesome. But anyway, or a tactical droid. Anyway, that would be amazing. anyway, but yeah, Lego's trying their best. I, they some I think they got the idea that this is better, but it's a cool set. Price range, I'd if, give it a seven. I'd give it an eight because if it was like if it was thirteen ninety nine, I would buy multiples of them. This would be perfect. The extra dollar makes but it less valuable. If it was thirteen ninety nine, even the regular price for fifteen ninety nine. Isn't worth it, honestly. Honestly, I think it should be ten dollars. So in my opinion, if you could get it off Bricklink, eBay, or, or Amazon for a cheaper price, do it. This is an awesome set and for a cheaper if price. If there's a set, if there's like say a store that gives it like fifteen percent off or something, get it. Get. I, I highly recommend this. I'm. Uh, but for regular Lego price, I would recommend. When we this. make our clone army video. Uh, we might be thinking of making uh, making a base, clone base video. I don't know if we're going to do that, but I I would put these around a clone base. So in, like, every corner, maybe, or make a squadron, like, of a, well, not a squadron, but, like, a line for protective or defense. Other than that... We currently have three of them, of these battle packs already. So we already have, like, a command droid squad. That's pretty much the good part. I mean, I'd buy two or three of them because... So like to make squadrons, to make squadrons and leaders for your ar other ARF troopers, and to make squadrons of these commando droids. I mean, like the more you have, the better. The better. Yeah. So and Lego outdid themselves for this battle pack. But I think they did great, the but they could have done better. As always, Lego could always do better. Lego did great for the battle pack, but not so great for the price. Yeah. So, thanks for watching this review. Watch all our other reviews. Wait, They're wait, coming wait. out the instructions. really shortly. Also, the instruction manual. So, the instruction it's manual. It's very basic. It's really basic. Lego started to make the instructions smaller. This is much smaller than the other instruction manuals. Um, it's just, again, the minifigure stuff. It also came with, like, a bunch more of these things. Yes, it came with a little baggie of them. I don't know if I have it with me. Yes, I do. It comes with a baggie of just gear, so like the little helmet 
uh, visors, the it's antennas. It's easy to follow. I didn't find any mistakes in it. I found one, but it was just like a br uh, break off or something. And then at the end, oh yeah, Lego started to input these little cartoons. And they're actually really cool. Um, like here you have a couple of them walking with commando droids in the background. Then Don't root it for them. They want to buy Commando droids are attacking. And then it's like a little then, yeah. It's it's Lego humor. It's not exactly based on Star Wars history, but it's it's really cool. And as always, the little sets. So the uh, instructions are cool. I love the new comics. They make me laugh. Okay, so guys, funny. thanks for watching. Watch your next review. The, coming up is the Endor Battle Pack. Okay, peace.